describe the moment to me when you won, you shared the Nobel Prize in one of the science categories, back in 2001, I think? When I heard about it, they told me um, I had a message on my um, mobile phone and I couldn't quite believe that it was true. In fact, I thought they were asking me to comment on somebody else who'd won it. Only after listening to it two or three times did I realise they were talking about me. Can you sum up what you won it for? All things, living things are made of cells. You started as a single cell, so did I. What I and my colleagues worked on, because I won it with two others, is what controls the division of a cell from one to two to four. The basis of growth and development of all living things, and it goes wrong in cancer. Science is a deeply aesthetic experience. When you do something that is exceptional, it, it has a certain aesthetic quality. Uh, you know, if you suddenly understand something about the world that was, was really not clear before, and suddenly it all comes sharply into focus, it's close to a sort of spiritual um, experience, um, frankly. I, I sometimes compare doing a very good piece of science with the same experience of reading a great poem or listening to a great piece of music. There's similar feelings, at least for somebody like me. But I've got to say I have um, been um, to every university that turned me down, all other five of them. That was the um, um, universities of Oxford, Cambridge, Sussex, York, I think another one, um, and who have all given me honorary degrees since. And I've generally mentioned at some stage that they wouldn't let me in as undergraduates. The natural world is fascinating and is even more so if you are prepared to observe, to experiment, to think and to try and understand. That is what scientists do and there is a little bit of the scientist in all of them.